appreciate about the Lord in, uh, is His uh, heart and love for children. Uh, I think it says a lot about who He is when uh, a couple of different times in the Gospels it's recorded that Jesus would enter in a vill- into a village where He was largely unknown. It wasn't like these kids knew who He was and they would uh, flock to Him. They were drawn to Him. And uh, it says something about who Jesus is because children are not drawn to angry, grumpy people. Like, they're not drawn to those type of people. They're drawn to people who are compelling and playful and fun-loving and joyous. And uh, they were drawn to the Lord. And so, in fact, there's that account, you know, where the disciples are trying to regulate. Because it's a serious business that they're in. It's a business of God. And, and the children are better uh, off, you know, not, not to be seen or heard. You keep them away. And, and Jesus rebukes the disciples. Like, you don't get it. Like, uh, don't prevent them from coming to me. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. And so that's our desire as a church even this morning, is to formally bring these uh, sons and daughters uh, to the Lord and say, Lord, we want them to know you. We dedicate them to you. That's what these uh, parents are expressing. I just want to invite those parents to come up on, on, uh, on the stage. And as they're coming, I just want to acknowledge some of the families and friends that are here to support them in, in this, uh, this commitment to the Lord. If you're here as family and friends to support Eric and Kara Young, as they de- dedicate Annika Lene this morning, would you go ahead and stand up in support of the Youngs? Awesome. Good, good tribe of people. Good to have you here this morning. Thank you. You may be seated. And then uh, Brian and Christine Rogers are going to be dedicating 